you get a skinny box and wrench. And then so most likely if I'm running like up north and I'm running sand, I'm going to probably be doing this a few Not times. Not sand you won't know. Rocks you will. Sand should be fine. Really? Okay. What size is that then? Half inch? Uh, half inch, yes. So, see the grates? It's really not beat up that bad, actually. Some of these guys, you go and look at them, and I mean, there's gouges in them, and it just comes right out. Okay. So now you can feel the grooves on there. Mm-hmm. Now, you know how I was telling you, like, uh, is that... you know, the water pump? Mm -hmm. You know, we'll, that's kind of what will happen inside of the water pump. This is a wearable part. Okay. So, um, when this is on here... Mm-hmm. To get a feeler gauge and there's I don't know what the tolerance is but you can see how close these are mm -hmm. to your liner there mm -hmm. you want to keep them close and tight so and if they're loose that's where you see the power right and the what, well, what you can do is so you see on here how there's shims mm -hmm. so you can shim it down so you basically you take one of these shims and you put it above it and we'll shim that impeller down so it'll uh, oh no drop it. down to yeah, the closer so it'll, it'll make it closer to the tolerances okay so that's about it so then back on we'll bend them down flat against this so, so why did you push them up so we can get this nut off oh okay i got you so, i got you so this is usually what i carry with me just pair of channel locks okay i got you know, grab rocks out of the bottom of the chat if so you got your shims here those will all come off Keep them as mm -hmm. is. You can see that one that's cut out. Yep. You can feel this right here. So mm -hmm. go well, it's like got to go in there. Okay. And I'll get this here. So come down. One shim up top here. Right now. So I found in like a set. So and this just kind of, you can actually right there, that's pretty sharp. And this just sets kind of basically in there like. You know, okay. Um, so this one was on top. It's only shipped mm -hmm. down one right now. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when that does start wearing. Um, yeah, then you just basically... And no shims were on the other side by the bolt on the, on the front. Yeah. These were on the bottom. This one was on the top. Okay, so you just... So this one yeah. was way up top. And so then if I need another one, I just grab that one and push it up top. It up, take your impeller off. Put this one on top. It'll pull your impeller down. Just mm -hmm. a notch or push it down just a notch and give you that tight appearance. Okay. So, so anyway, so one, two... That important to uh, we'll just pull that off. And I always just kind of put these right back on after I do this, just so I don't lose them. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you know, make your keys, you know, just got to remove The shaft's always spinning. Okay. And the impeller's always spinning. All this does is direct the water either out, you know, try to keep it so you're not pushing forward too mm -hmm. far, or um, engages the bucket in reverse. Oh, so the water hits this and blows it yeah, back the other way. So like that. Get these out. Um, to get the inside ones out. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what size is that? I think it's 9 16 yeah, so all these bolts are. So, okay. Like I said, carry a real standards, carry a real metrics. Okay. This is all standard, pretty much the motors, you know, I think it's made in Belgium or something, so it's all metric. There's the four inside. This is your bearing carrier. Mm -hmm. Those are your bearing seals. These four bolts here hold your bearing carrier, and these four bolts hold the jet unit onto your the motor. The motor. Okay. Yep. And this one right here. So, okay. There's five bolts that hold that. You know, and to tell you the truth, too, so. Um, Learn. Mm -hmm. So let's say in three or four years, you know, I mean, you'll be able to get your money back out of this. And, That's what I figure. You know. But I figure, yeah, I have to, if I ran it for two or three years, and then if I wanted to move on to a thirty thousand dollar boat, now you know that you know you feel yeah. comfortable with one. I mean, don't ever. Be, you know, yeah. well, that's never, what it, never do this before and go spend fifty thousand dollars on a jet boat and tear the shit out of it. And, yeah. You, know, so. you can see it. See how it's separating here already. So. Oh yeah. So both of these will be short in the back and both will be long in the front then. Exactly. I kind of try to line these up right here. Mm -hmm. So that's your keeper right there. Mm -hmm. You should probably get an extra one of those. Okay. And then there's a 
the sleeve that's in here, so a little plastic piece. Mm -hmm. Probably get next to one of those too. Okay. This, I, you know. Okay. That just slides on, and same thing. It's got that flat piece. Mm -hmm. so 